Yeah, okay, so the motor's not in, I know. But I decided to do spindles. So that's where I'm at. I almost forgot to film it. So I didn't get anything really apart yet, so. And I don't know if you can hear that, but I got my air conditioner going with the door open. I guess that makes me a a filthy American, right? Only Americans do that shit. Yeah. These are three inch drop. Three inch from uh, stock, that is. So. And with the stock spring, I hear they sit pretty low. I don't know. But that's just for now. That's the parts I got. I want to get it together so I don't have all these boxes of parts going when I move. But, uh, man, look at that mess. Yeah, so, uh, try to get the shot here. Dude, I think my mail lady hit my truck. This is my work truck. I don't know if you can see that. I pulled it out quite a bit with my hand, but I live on a dead-end street, and the neighbor said nobody came down the street except the mail lady, so. <laughs> Whatever. The funny part is, is I'm the guy that does all the body work on our vehicles at work. So it's just more work for me, really. It's not like I'm getting in trouble or anything. Good shot. She'll come undone. Just like that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you guys know the rest of this story, so. Okay. First dilemma is the castle nut. You know, these ball joints are fine thread, and if you ask me, it's a little bit on the anemic side. So, I'm turning it and turning it, and it's not getting loose. I'm like, yep, threads are stripped. But luckily, it's the nut that's stripped and not the ball joint. The ball joints are new. Whoever had this truck before me replaced it. They actually did rear brakes all the way around, too. I had to measure the rear drums in order to determine what brake code the truck was to determine what the brake calipers and rotors were, if that makes any sense. So if you guys are doing brakes on these trucks, if you have an 11 by 2 inch rear drum, that determines what rotor and caliper this truck gets. I don't know, GM's kind of funky, and 
you, you think you'd be able to give them the VIN number, but they couldn't determine it with the VIN. So, uh, needless to say, I had to take the back brakes apart to measure the uh, the shoes or the drum itself. But yeah, so I'm going to the hardware store. I'm not even paying attention where I'm fucking filming. Um, I have to get to the hardware store, and I got a pretty good hardware store. And I know they have castle nuts. I really don't care if it's a castle or not. I'm just looking for the right thread. I got a thread gauge here. And I believe this this bolt is going to be like a, a 9 16 by 20. On my thread gauge. So, that's where I'm going to go. And I'll be right back. Alright, yeah, so I got one on. There's the three inch drop. The old one was basically right here, so she's gonna be sitting pretty low. And uh, I wanted to show you guys about the uh, the whole castle nut thing. These freaking castle nuts. Well, what happens is, is you see, it's like an interrupted thread all the way around. So basically, that's not really doing shit. So I measured this with my calipers. And I got... I'm trying to do two things here at once. 223, 225. So that's like a heavy 316ths. Right? A heavy 316ths of nut clamping down on that ball joint. So of course it's stripped out with the fine thread. So I put regular nuts on there. I didn't put the washer on there. And that got me up past the hole so now I can still put the cotter pin in without the castle part. You know. Talking to myself probably, but that's what happened. That went right. Alright, so I just put my uh my my seals in the freezer. Sit down, sit down, young baby. They always press in a lot easier. I want to talk to you. So that's where I'm at, no and then the third he's on. Alright. There it is. Before the wheel goes on. Nice shiny parts. The uh, the dust covers were kind of rusted out, so I'm gonna get some of them. But there it is. I'll stick the wheels on it real quick. So that's a three-inch spindle drop. I know the motor's out of it, but it's nowhere near as low as I want it. <laughs> but uh it's like Samuel's in there pretty good look at that freak look at the back of his head oh my god yeah three inch drop Alright, it's been a long day. See y'all.